Hey KW Agents, Ben here. As promised, if you write the meeting on Wednesday, following my little introduction here, you're going to see a tutorial step-by-step -step on how to upload your branded photo to KWLS. Now, if that doesn't make any sense to you, chances are you might not have been at the meeting with us on Wednesday. So for those of you that were at the meeting, the following is the tutorial that Lori Ballin put together that shows you exactly how to do step-by-step -step what we talked about in the meeting. And for those of you who weren't at the meeting, but you want to know what the heck all this buzz around the office is about, stay tuned to the end of Lori's presentation, and I'm going to sandwich or edit in the video showing you why we're all so excited about this. So this is an opportunity for you all to have your branded photo appear on sites like century21.com, coblebanker.com, Zillow, Trulia, all kinds of different sites. Getting those leads back to you, the agent, instead of to some other agent who doesn't know the property. So watch the video, follow the tutorial, get your photo uploaded, and if you weren't at the meeting, watch all of this video to see what the heck we're talking about. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, please see myself or Abby. We look forward to helping you get your unfair share. Have a good day. Here's where the magic happens. You've branded your photo, you've saved your photo, now we need to go into KWS and change the main photo so that when it, when it syndicates again, which it will, your old picture that the MLS fed gets replaced with your new picture very simply. So go over to your KWS and find the listing that you want to edit. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to click on this little MLS number so that it opens the listing that I need to edit. Oop, logged me out. There we go. Okay, so it'll have all of your details here. And you can see here, here's your listing details. Here's where your images are. You can add open houses. You can add virtual tours. You can add listing links. Someday I'll show you guys what I do with all those things because there's some great stuff you can actually do in there. And um, anyway, so let's go over to images. Okay, now in images, here's this step has to be done. Right here, this little checkbox. To prevent your photos from being overwritten by List Hub import, you may check the box to lock your photos. Lock the photos. And, and you want to do that so that it, it doesn't have any other chance to um, have your MLS change anything you've done in there. So once you've done that, it automatically opens this box. If you don't see this box when you go into your photos, it means you didn't ever check off that little box. And there's no way to add photos if you don't do that. You can, okay, so we want to add a photo is the key here. We don't just want to edit one we have, we want to add it. So now we're going to go into upload and we're going to tell the computer where to find that picture we just saved. So go to upload. I'm sorry. Go to browse first. We've got to browse for the picture. Go to your folder where your pictures are saved. And then we're going to let me go grab it. And we saved that one as 5192. Make sure I'm in the right spot here. Yeah, the trick is saving it to a folder where you can find it much faster than what I'm doing here. 5192. There it is. Okay, 5192 Paradise Valley. Click OK. Okay, so you see a little and a little image of, of it right here. Now click Upload. Okay, so now it's actually pulling the picture in for you. And once it does that, if you go down here to your pictures, You'll see it at the very bottom. It always adds it to the end. So here's what you need to do. You need to change that picture to one. So it's the number one picture. And then you go back up here to your number one and change it to whatever this number was. In this case, it was number 21. So I'll go up here and I'll just make my number one picture 21. Once you've done that, click Save. Scroll down to make sure you've done it right. There it is. There's your image. That's it. That's all. That's all there is to it. Um, and after it does this, it will then syndicate over to Zillow and Trulia, 
and uh, the other ones it syndicates to. And this picture will now show up as your main image. Anywhere KWS syndicates to, that number will be your, your main image. That's it. There, that's all there is to it. All right, what we're going to cover here is just the power of KWLS, and, <clears throat> and I know it's kind of confusing how it all works and everything, but um, with utilizing KWLS, I'm just going to show you a couple listings on some competitors' websites and also um, just a, on Trulia. When uh, a listing goes out on Trulia and it's put into the KWLS, the data should trump what the MLS has, and that's why... Um, this agent has their phone number, their information on that listing for them to call them and speak to the listing agent because obviously that listing agent has the most knowledge of that property and the, and the best source for that um, client who's searching to contact. That way they're contacting you and same if they're on a competitor's website. So this listing shows up here but then when you go down to the details it's got, got that little saying in there that contact that agent. So that way it's not going to that um, that company's um, lead source or something along those lines or even another agent that may pay for branding. And we also got to look here at um, another website. So if we look at this and we scroll on down, we will see that the description has contact that agent directly. And the way that that is done is on my KW and just hovering over home and then KWLS is right here. And I had it already opened here and I found one of the listings and when you go into the listing details this stuff should be in here but you have the option to go in there and edit it so this is down at the bottom and I don't have the option to edit this listing but um, down at the bottom of this let this go come on looks like it froze up on me there um, you, you'll see an edit option down here you click the edit box and that's where you can go in there and change that description and put in that information that you want that uh, those people out there searching to contact you directly. You are the listing agent. You have the most knowledge and generate leads not just on your websites but on all of those other websites out there. That is a huge benefit to KWLS and that is one of the reasons that KW does offer that as one of their tools for their agents.